We are permitted to work out here to help meet our country's and the world's energy needs. But part of that permitting process depends on each of us being careful custodians of our workplace. These waters, seas, and oceans. Our goal is to go the extra mile when taking care of our offshore facilities, the equipment we use to get our work safely done. And just as importantly, taking care of the beautiful locations in which we are allowed to conduct drilling and production operations. We have put the people, policies, and guidelines in place. But successfully protecting the environment ultimately depends on one person, you. So it's critical for you to know exactly what is expected to get your tasks done safely, efficiently, and in an environmentally sound manner. Practices are established to cover how we maintain our offshore equipment when preparation and painting operations take place, for example. So for the next few minutes, we're going to look at our management practices plan covering these activities. Our goal is to safely prevent and minimize the discharge of wastes associated with surface coatings and preparation operations to the surrounding waters by establishing a best management practice or BMP plan. To begin, in this first section we will look at the governing bodies regulating these activities. Our fleet must be inspected periodically and maintained to assure structural integrity and to minimize pollution risks. Maintenance of the fleet requires various cleaning, coating removal, and coating application activities. While there are regulatory requirements driving the inspection and maintenance process, there are also requirements governing any discharges into the waters where we're located. It's because of these separate and sometimes conflicting, yet all applicable regulations that created a need for this best management practice or BMP. The BMP has been developed to be consistent with regulatory requirements as well as industry recommended practices and standards. Our company adopted these practices to comply with environmental laws and to establish best management practices for maintenance of its offshore equipment. Our company will conduct surface preparation and coating removal activities in accordance with industry and regulatory requirements and the BMP. Okay, let's look at the regulations covering these activities. There are three regulatory initiatives addressing maintenance operations. First, the Minerals Management Service, or MMS, is part of the U.S. Department of the Interior. All oil, gas, and sulfur activities in the Outer Continental Shelf, or OCS, are subject to subpart I, Platforms and Structures, Platform Verification Program. In addition, it requires offshore platforms to be properly maintained to assure structural integrity. The U.S. Coast Guard has similar requirements for maintaining the structural integrity of offshore drilling rigs and certain other floating vessels. Next, MARPOL Annex 5. The regulations in Annex 5 are applicable to surface preparation and coating application activities on offshore facilities and require that reasonable efforts must be made to prevent the discharge of spent blast abrasive, paint chips, and paint overspray careful attention should be paid to weather conditions. If the work area is subject to the weather, the person in charge of the operation should determine if weather conditions pose a threat to the safety of personnel or render the containment systems ineffective. We're concerned about more than potential surface rust here. During these conditions, abrasive blasting operations must not occur and containments may need to be removed. Everyone involved in the task must maintain a clean working area to assure that excessive spent blast abrasive is not accumulated. Spent blast abrasive should be collected on a regular basis and not left to accumulate over the course of a job. Good housekeeping practices include, but are not limited to the following. Focus on keeping work areas clean and neat. Cleaning up leaks and spills promptly. Inspecting work areas and pathways to detect potential problems storing and stacking materials properly, labeling materials properly, conducting preventive maintenance on equipment, 